Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 15th. We're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for around the 15th? You know the timing is fluid. What do we have? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What I see is the Knight of Pentacles, so we could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this is somebody who's building financial stability, has a plan. This is a planner, somebody that is responsible. Um, may be offering something or may have something of value to add to a situation. The Knight of Pentacles is a thinker, a planner, a hard worker. Really focused and driven, driven on being successful. Still has a ways to go. Hmm. Trying to build, we have somebody here trying to build themselves up financially. The high priestess reversed. Now the high priestess reversed is somebody that is closed off. Not very open. Chooses to be single. May not have a lot of friends. Uh... Ignores their intuition. The high priestess reverse can also be an individual who is shallow, not very awakened. Okay? Maybe a little materialistic because I saw that Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is a little materialistic. Very worried about what he has. Has to, you know, work to have all those things. So, hmm, the high priestess is reverse is a lack of awareness, a lack of spirituality. Um, Eight of Cups reversed. Now, there is shallowness here with both of these cards. Pretending. Superficial. Definitely lack of spiritual growth. Somebody is pretending they're happy, but they're not. Choosing to be single, pretending to be happy, not very spiritual, emotionally weak, staying in a situation that is not really making them happy, okay, with the Eight of Cups reversed, because if you think about the Eight of Cups upright, that's leaving behind the disappointment, but here it's like staying put, staying in this mindset, because there's a lack of spirituality, this person just doesn't listen to their gut, very, uh, well, society driven. You think about that Knight of Pentacles, interesting. Death, death reversed. Now, the death reversed is a disaster or an incident or there's been a delay and, then, and there's a level of indecision. Somebody is being held back by fear. They're being held back by fear. Hmm. Five of Cups reversed. Now the Five of Cups reversed is beginning to realize that there is an opportunity. But really struggling to let go. There could be a deep depression here. But with the Five of Cups reversed and the Eight of Cups reversed, there could be a reunion. There could absolutely be a reunion with these two cards reversed. Maybe somebody left, but it's not over yet because the death is reversed. And this is why we do reversals. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Something isn't over and somebody has been grieving. They've been in a state of depression. They may have been pretending that they were happy with it or they were good with it, but they're not. An apology could be coming. Just saying somebody may be getting an apology. It's not over yet. Could be, this is like a, the death reverse is a near death experience. The eight of cups and the five of cups are both breakup cards in the upright, but in the reversed it's a coming back or a renewal or an apology. So somebody may be getting an apology. They may. They may. It's not over yet. It hasn't completely ended yet. 
We definitely have somebody here that is not very spiritual. They're not fully awakened. They may be really focused on their job. Remember I saw the Knight of Pentacles or their money or their financial status or something like that. And maybe that's why they were choosing to be single. Maybe they just weren't seeing clearly or they were afraid. I mean, if you're dealing with a high priestess, um, she can be pretty fearful. She can be fearful. I mean, you can't hide anything from a high priestess. She's very intuitive. She's got a connection. She's psychic. She's an empath, whatever. She's a reader. She's whatever she is. She's She may be a little intimidating, okay? So... Hmm. Aha! Page of Cups. There absolutely could be an apology that is coming. Or a very, a message. This is a good message. This is good news. Okay? Somebody, this is happy news. And that could be a birth. News of a birth. Or a rebirth of a situation. Somebody may be their intuition. They were not following their intuition. But now, perhaps they're ready to show their feelings. Or speak up. Again, this is a very psychic energy, and this one is too. So, you know, somebody's gut may be poking them, poking them, poking them. Follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your heart. You know? Um, there's going to be a, a, a welcome message that is arriving. Probably from somebody that either pushed you away or walked away from you with that Eight of Cups. Hangman reversed. So this person has been thinking. Thinking, 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 thinking. Thinking about what they want. Thinking about what they don't want. Really needing to see things from a new perspective. And they may have gained a new perspective. Hiding something. We have somebody here that is obsessed with control. And they're hiding their true feelings. Hiding, yes. I think a secret is about to be real. Somebody, somebody is about to speak up about how they feel. They've been burying their feelings. But in missing an opportunity because of it. Stubborn, too. Ah, we have some, remember I said grieving up here. Definitely sadness, painful. So there's some sort of grieving, separation. Grieving over a separation. Separation will definitely enlighten a person. Somebody's gone, gone through a period of enlightenment. They've gone through it. And they needed a new perspective. They needed this separation to see. They did. They did. So, uh, yeah, there's been a level of indecision and there's been a delay. It's been painful. It's definitely with the Five of Cups next to the Three of Swords. Very painful. Hurt. A lot of hurt. Heart-wrenching, really, with the Three of Swords. That's heartache. That's suffering. There may have been a rejection. We, You know, it looks as though there was a rejection here. That rejection probably hurt. Eight of Wands, but here comes the news. Here comes some messages. These, uh, This is really positive news arriving. On swift wing, wings, right? Those are fast. So, messages flying, flying on in. So, messages are coming. Yes, the messages are going to be coming. Things are going to be moving forward very, very fast. Nine of Cups. For somebody who's not happy, they're not satisfied. They're very dissatisfied with something that broke. Okay, that's broke. The, the, the breakup or the separation. That's why they're going to be communicating. Five, they're feeling defeated. Five of swords reversed. Feeling defeated. I got nothing left to prove. I just want to be happy. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight this. I feel like, um, you know, there, this could be peace talks. And it's almost like the shoe is on the other foot now. Somebody uh, may be coming back for another chance and apologizing. <laughs> and I don't say that lightly because I know a lot of people don't. You know, especially, I mean, there's a lot of people that don't. But as far as I can see, we have somebody here 
that, um, I don't know if that is going to, you think it would, uh, clear up. Guess not. How's that? Oh, look at that. Anyway. I don't know if I hit that or what. Sorry. Um, sorry. I'm sorry. Might take a little bit of work, but we can clear this up. Get prepared for some good news, a message of love or something like that. Uh, this there's good a nice positive uh, message coming from somebody that may have a crush they may they have feelings this is an admirer somebody is going to be and I feel like it has to do with an apology maybe there was a misunderstanding and there's a chance to clear this up so be prepared to uh, deal with some, there's been some sort of painful separation there has something was broken okay maybe it was broken communication or was well, something was broken maybe the lines of communication were broken but I feel like we have a change here here comes the messages Somebody's about to reveal their feelings and perhaps, you know, come back. They're come back and uh, well, let's get one more card. What are they gonna do? One more card. Judgment. Reconciliation. Truth is about to be revealed. Being held accountable. Yeah, they're going to be held accountable. They're going to tell the truth. They're going to tell the truth. Somebody is coming with the truth. And this could certainly be forgiveness. Will you forgive me? This is... Uh, they're ready to be judged. They're ready for a renewal. They're ready for... Somebody is going to be asking for another chance. And they're going to be coming with the truth and being held accountable for their actions. This is the end of something. Judgment is the end of something. Now, this is a wake-up call as well. Somebody did get a wake-up call. They went through a separation which enlightened them. <laughs> you know, made them realize what they want. It was painful. It really was. It was a painful breakup or a pain, painful separation, whatever it is. Judgment is a card of acceptance, forgiveness, transcendence. This is an awakening. This is somebody, this is somebody up here who was not awakened, waking up. Definitely a new perspective has been gained through a separation. And now we have some messages that are going to be coming. You win. Good luck.